this week. In what has to be a record for the most times covered on PSVR this week, Ben VR Adventure is back in the spotlight for a few reasons mostly because they're gearing up for launch on Oculus. But that news came with the reveal that the small team over at Monologic Games is only working on one version of Ben at a time, meaning it'll be a while before we get a release date over here on PSVR. The good news is that this launch trailer shows off a few new areas, new gameplay mechanics, and it's all looking better than ever. Escape Room puzzle game Last Labyrinth had a team of amazing game designers behind it, but despite some very cool environments and a few memorable moments, a lot of reviewers found it to be frustrating, overly difficult, and totally unimmersive. That said, two physical versions of the game went on sale yesterday at Strictly Limited Games, a Standard Edition limited to 2,500 copies, and a Collector's Edition limited to 1,500, and the first run sold out in well under an hour. The second run went live earlier today, and there's still surprisingly a few versions of each left for anyone interested. Sumo Lab, the developers of Crisis Brigade 2, tweeted yesterday that there will be a huge update coming to their game soon that'll include four difficulty levels, improved enemy AI, and improved enemy physics. When asked if the multiplayer mode for PSVR was ready, they replied, not yet. This step was mandatory before the co-op, but we have the co-op almost ready. We worked in parallel. It should take a few weeks. This update also ensures that when the multiplayer patch goes live, it'll feature the option to play cross-platform with PC and Quest gamers. Developer Miro in VR has shown off another huge portion of their first-person shooter, Russia 2077. And while it showcases the dangers of drinking vodka straight from the bottle, it also reveals more of the game's unique art style, shooting mechanics, and a bit of melee combat. Welcome to the Black Hat. This week, our friend Todd over at the Facebook group PSVR Game Reviews Only discovered that an old favorite of ours, Preda Vendetta Rising, currently doesn't work on PS4 or PS5. The game starts up, then displays the message, connection error occurred, please check your internet and try again. And then, simply doesn't allow you to continue the game. Preda's online mode was minimal to say the least, so it's a shame that we're unable to play the single player campaign. Hopefully the issue can be resolved soon. Swords of Gargantua, the sword fighting action VR game from developer Thirdverse, finally has an official release date on PlayStation VR. Coming December 8th, you'll be able to play solo or with up to three friends as you traverse through the Tesseract Abyss floors with the aim of taking down the giant Gargantua in its deepest lair, 4101. Developer Ivanovich Games, makers of Beat Blaster, Operation Warcade, and Touring Carts, released a trailer this week for their upcoming game, 1976 Return to Midway. It's an obvious homage to the classic arcade shoot 'em up series 1942 by Capcom, but with multiple perspectives, intense action, and diverse environments, this one looks like it could be Ivanovich's best game yet.
finally, the 2020 PlayStation VR Award Show is officially planned for December 20th, hosted by us and airing live right here on PSVR Without Parole. So stay tuned for an official nominee video coming soon and join our Discord to cast your votes. Thank you guys so much for tuning into another episode of PSVR This, this week. week. We'll be back next week to keep you up to date on all the VR games coming to the PlayStation Store. But keep in mind that no one outside of Sony really knows what games are coming when. But we'll do our best to keep you up to date each and every week on PSVR This, this Week. week.